Men det er det. Men, Men det er det. You know, it'd be one thing if you'd gone and done something like this before on your own. Ready to listen to me. It's important that you tell me why you went in the girls' locker room. The devil need me. What for? Huh? She want me to pick up that. Did she ask you? Huh? Did she ask you? No. Who did? No. Radio, who asked you to go in the girls' locker room? Who asked you? No. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Be mad radio. Huh? Be mad radio. You're willing to do that? Take the blame for someone else? You're a better man than me. I'll say that for you. Clemson. Said he'd know I'm a junior that's looking at me for a full ride after next year. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. I need to speak with Mr. Play for a minute. What's up, Coach Jones? You know, son, it's one of those days I wish I wasn't a teacher so I could just lay into you right now. She said I'm there. What's gotten into you, huh? I thought you'd learned something the past few months. I guess I was wrong. What are you talking about? Don't say a word unless I tell you to. You understand me? Now, you might think you're clear on this because Honeycutt wasn't around, but let me tell you something. This is my call. There's no way you're suiting up tomorrow night. Right. What did you say? Coach Jones? Mr. Clay? What seems to be the problem here? You hear the problem, ma'am? Young man, students do not tell me what I do and do not hear. He said I can't play tomorrow. Is that what you're thinking, Coach Jones? That's what I'm saying. Well, then, seeing that Coach Jones is the athletic director, I say you are not playing. Man, this is West Side. If we win, we're in first place. Well, that's all the more reason for you to cheer on your teammates, isn't it? Anything else? Yeah, why don't you tell your boy that I said thanks? Radio didn't sell you out, son. There are plenty of other people willing to do that. Yes, 